if you guys are getting charged five thousand dollars your installer better know how to install this trunk in one piece and not do it in two pieces i don't know why this guy did it in two pieces this is uh one of the easiest trunks to actually wrap what is up guys welcome back to another vlog so in this vlog i'm actually going to be talking specifically about this frs um unfortunately this is a definition of the worst wrap job i have ever seen personally and the reason why i say that is because this person got charged five thousand dollars for this wrap job um very unbelievable. The white is actually the base coat of the car, but the blue is the wrap. So let me go and go over the uh, passenger side of the car. So for starters on the car, you guys can actually see a bunch of white right there. None of the corners are tucked even correctly. A lot of bubbles, as you guys can see right here. You have some right there. Um, the actually, the whole fender uh, kit all around the car is actually looks like this was all lifting up. I still have the fender kit inside the garage, haven't peeled it. Um, let me start off with the front bumper. Yeah, this, that's hanging. This was actually just a touch-up. Let me go and actually just peel this so I can show you guys. So that's just a touch-up to cover up the white. You have another one right here. But it's just horrible. That's something Alex would deliver to you guys. I'm just joking. <laughs> but um, another thing, guys, right here, as far as the inlays are all bubbling up, Another thing is that the uh, roof moldings, this actually right here, um, the guy actually didn't even uh, connect it. So when they were actually driving, they ended up losing it. The roof wrap is actually not tucked correctly. I'm gonna get it to focus. There you guys go. Another thing guys is that the guy did not even wrap the shark fin. So the shark fin is actually spray painted. So the customers actually didn't know until they were here. I actually pointed it out because I was actually looking for the uh, inlay. Most shops can't do these in one piece, so most of the time I just look for the inlay and I can tell if it's wrapped, but um, this is way too perfect to, uh, to be a wrap pretty much. So this is all one piece. Um, it's definitely spray paint, guys. It's not plastic, it does not come off. The uh, customer actually drove over here to check it out and he was definitely pissed about it. Another thing on this side actually, let me see, yeah, you guys can see all of these little dents. So none of these dents were actually here prior to the car being wrapped from the other shop, according to the uh, customers. And then right here on this quarter panel, there is a huge dent. Um, so that is actually visible with the fender flares on. So obviously that was delivered like that. The back of the rear bumper looks like a balloon. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Yeah, it's pretty bad, guys. That, that's a huge bubble. Um, all that's blade cut. Same thing with right here. Huge bubble. The balloons for my birthday, yeah. There's actually another inlay right here. So this is actually a patch. You guys can see it. But yeah, those are patches right there. Another thing, guys. If you guys are getting charged $5,000, your installer better know how to install this trunk in one piece and not do it in two pieces. I don't know why this guy did it in two pieces. This is uh, one of the easiest trunks to actually wrap, so um, very sad to see. Another thing, guys, to keep in mind is that this car was only uh, has only been wrapped for about four months, so not even a long time. Alex's car doesn't even look like this, and his car's been going on for about a year. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and uh, remove the rest of the fender flare kit. We're gonna go ahead and see what it looks like underneath. Um, I'm really hoping that there's no dents. So the customers actually contacted the shop. His paint was actually spray painted on. So um, this is a very unfortunate job. It really is. Especially for $5,000, you guys better not be receiving something like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove the uh, back quarter panel first. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, unbolt all the rivets and then we'll go ahead and uh, see what it looks like. I'll set you guys up on tripods so you guys can see while I do the whole process. So I just got done uh, removing the driver's side fender flares. You guys can see there's actually no damage to it, but um, the wrap is actually pretty damaged as you guys can see. You don't see those little dents? Where? Where you not see those? Oh, never mind. There are dents actually. Four? Yeah. Four? Yeah. So there's a dent right there. Now it's kind of hard to see it, but yeah, there's a dent right here. 
Yeah, you can see it. One right there. Yeah, so this one does have a little, uh, couple of dents. I'll go ahead and let the uh, customers know they're actually on their way right now. But um, the wrap is actually damaged right here. I'm assuming this is from the fender flare, from just bolting it down too tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove the uh, front fender flare, and then we're gonna go ahead and unwrap the car once this is actually off. So I just got done uh, taking off the front fender flare. There's actually another dent right here. That's actually a pretty big dent. But it um, doesn't look that bad on the camera. But other than that guys, there's just little things that I really wouldn't do, like all the white in here, all of that would have been covered. Um, you can tell that he trimmed it just right here at the edge. Something I wouldn't do, I would have taken off the fender and then took it all the way in there. So now guys, uh, keep in mind I'm not making this video to bash anybody. I'm not naming any names or shop names, anything out there. But um, this is just a video guys, just to pretty much be careful with what you guys pay for and know who you guys are taking your car to. Um, this is a $5,000 wrap job guys and um, I'm pretty sure that nobody would be very happy with paying that and be happy with this car. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull it inside, get it unwrapped. The owners are actually on their way right now. So we're going to go ahead and uh, discuss the livery that I'm designing for them and then we'll go ahead and go from there. So I just pulled the FRS and I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, start unwrapping it right now. I'm going to go and set you guys up on tripod and then we're going to go ahead and unwrap this. I just finished up the uh, quarter pound. I'm actually gonna go ahead and uh, just pack it up and then call it night. But I'll go ahead and bring you guys back as soon as I get in tomorrow morning. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.